Okay. This is an important video, and this always confuses people, and there's there's no articles about this. There are no articles about this. Whew, I've been out shooting all day. Well, not all day. I've actually been testing some gear half the day. Um, gear intensiveness. Now, you know, let's be completely logical and completely wise and intelligent in making statements such that they are irrefutable. Uh, they are objective rather than subjective. Let's first, out, first start out by stating the bloody obvious. Obviously, skills are the most important thing in the world, okay? Anybody with a brain in photography knows that. Skills, 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 you know, lighting, the only thing that actually designates an expert photographer. You notice I'm using the word expert photographer instead of professional photographer. Expert photographer is someone an expert in composition and light manipulation, okay, versus a novice. A professional just means someone that's a working pro. Let's first start out by saying that obviously skills are paramount. The most important thing exists between your two ears. Obviously every camera, no matter how expensive, is stupid. Okay, point number one. Now we have to be objective and logical and wise in these statements that we make so that there's no confusion or somebody doesn't leave me a comment below going, You're so full of shit! Uh, that's not true! And blah 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 blah! And, you know, let's be logical. <laughs> point number two. You can take the best bicyclist in the world and the best race car driver. Now, I used to be really skinny, believe it or not. I've got proof of that. And, you know, ride some really expensive carbon fiber. Man, they were pretty expensive. I mean, some of those bicycles out there cost as much as a new BMW. Now, it is the case that the best bicyclists in the world, whether they've been doping in their veins or not, uh, <laughs> they, they ride some pretty expensive... You know, it's the same thing in the Olympics. You know, what could actually win you the gold medal or not? Maybe, uh, you know, one 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 thousandth of a second. And if you have, like, a better suit, like divers, I mean, a Speedo actually spent countless millions of dollars to develop a suit that has the least resistance in the water. And that would have our X number of laps uh, process uh, finalize itself into X one one thousandth of a second. So what is the level of intensity of gear? You know, obviously the best race car driver in the world, if you stick him in an old beat-up pickup truck and stick him on the racetrack, he isn't going to do shit, right? 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 We have to be logical about this. Isn't that objectively true? Best race car driver, let's stick him on the uh, starting line. Gentlemen, rev your engines. No, I, I hate race car driving stuff. I never watched one in my life, even though I used to live behind Daytona 500. Um, he isn't going to do very well in the old beat-up pickup truck, is he? So what is the point at which, you know, the skills are obvious necessity, what is the point at which we state that here be entering the gear? Obviously when it comes to portraiture, unless it is a certain uh, uh, modality of portraiture that involves action, which of course there certainly are some, you know, you tell a person how to pose and they do it. You know, obviously they can't sit perfectly still, you know, so you need a certain shutter speed, you need... Uh, Certain capabilities, like one thing that's wonderful, even if you have a camera that is all manual, like say an old film camera, say somebody's shooting film. I, I shot film for, for decades, I can't shoot that crap anymore. Um, you need to do high-speed sync, so you need a camera that's high-speed sync capable, right? Okay. And generally speaking, though, for portraiture, you know, you tell a person how to pose, you know, uh, you check your composition, you set your depth of field, you, you know, you don't even need autofocus, if you have half a brain anyway. I mean, some people now or today are they're addicted to autofocus. It's like they don't even know how the hell to use a manual focus lens. Pathetic! But there's one thing where you really don't need that much gear. Sports action, photojournalism. I used to do some photojournalistic work. Um, not much, but some. And uh, you have to have power. Same thing for wedding photography. I mean, people think that all they need is like a pocket full of batteries. It's like, no, it, it's not about having enough power, it's about having enough fast power. In other words, you're actually able to repeat instead of waiting. You have all the batteries in the world in your pocket, okay? Kind of like a squirrel that has his uh, cheeks puffed out with nuts. You ever seen that before? You still can't drop the power fast enough. I mean, you have to have a recharge time. Boom, boom. I have a unit over here. It's a power pack. Okay, we're talking about gear. So I can sit there and actually not miss the moment. Boom, 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 boom. Obviously, you can't keep doing that forever. You'll burn your speed light out. Anytime you actually see a melted Fresnel lens in the front of it, it's someone with a power pack. <laughs> and it, it just kept firing on the damn speed light. So what is the dividing line where gear intensity becomes that? Obviously, for if you're going to do handheld wildlife, 
You know, it's like, well, I want to zoom out there to a 500 millimeters and take a picture of the speckle-breasted woodpecker on that tree. You know, I don't want to bring a monopod or a tripod. Obviously, VR, you know, a really good VR, like the Nikkor 200 to 500 millimeter, which is amazing. And doing all that, using that uh, lens handheld all during vacation, which was very relaxing, even though it's a pretty heavy lens. Gear intensity. So we have to understand, you know, the skills are ever pervasive through any and every modality of photography. That is a given. But we also must admit that the best race car driver in the world in a beat-up pickup truck isn't going to do jack crap on the racetrack, is he? So we have to understand where that dividing line is. And people have lost sight of the dividing line. It's like, I'm going to keep buying the best gear and that's going to make me the best photographer. No, obviously that's not the case. Um, I see a lot of people getting better and better gear, but they don't actually develop their skills. The most amazing thing, and like every time I make a video about speed lights, there's very few people that watch them. But that's the most important part of photography is lighting. And, uh, I, you know, I see these other YouTube photography channels. They don't know, you know, it's like they don't even know what the hell a light meter is. I, you know, if you were to ask any of them, like, on the spot, like, hey, what's a honeycomb grid? It'd be like, isn't that that breakfast cereal? It's like, you don't know what a honeycomb grid is? Like, I, I can't even imagine, and I know this is true. If I were to take the top ten, let's just say, t whatever. Let's not rag on that point. It's like, you don't know what a honeycomb grid is? Lighting control? Skills. That's obviously gear, but I mean the skills to know what you uh, don't know and what you don't know or what you need to get the job done. It's like, well, I want some really focused light on this person. Yeah, but you can't do that with a studio strobe or this. You actually have to have a light mod, you know, like straw mods that I've shown you where you actually place stacked arrays of straws so it actually narrows the light in like a, a rifle scope as opposed to a shotgun where it's just throwing light just all over the damn place. Like, I need lighting. No, you need lighting and you need controlled lighting. That's part of skills, but that's skills and gear. So that's the part where skills and gear, I mean, you need to know not only what you uh, don't or uh, do have to get the shot done, but you have to have the skills to know that that's what I need. So you have to have the skills to know about the gear, not only have the gear, but the skills to know what it is you need to get the job done. Skills, obviously, are absolutely ever-pervasive. There's nobody is saying that skills are not absolutely number one paramount. Every camera is a stupid piece of crap that doesn't know how to take a picture. It is all what exists right here between your ears. This is the most important thing. The second uh, most important thing is lighting. The third most important thing is the lens. And right down low on the totem pole is the damn camera, right at the level four or five. You know, mind, <laughs> lighting. You know, I could take a crappy camera and crappy lens, but if I've got a good mind and I've got good lighting, I could drop some serious uh, awesome. Um, give me a shitty camera and a shitty lens as long as I have a good image in my head of what I'm trying to do. And I've got some good lighting equipment with some great light mods like... Uh, uh, you know, a softbox and uh, especially a snoot and a, uh, a grid. So people have lost track. They like, they like, they think it's like gear is over here. It's like no skills are over here. Like no gear is here and gear is here. It's like no, it's all skills. So we have to admit where skills skills never stop. The gills, the 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 gear has a stopping point. You know, when it comes to portraiture, for example, you don't really need that much. If you have complete control of the portraiture, there's nothing wrong with shooting like a 12 megapixel Nikon D700 or a D810. Those two cameras, however, become a serious issue if you're going to throw, uh, you know, 99% of wildlife photographers crop the shit out of their shots. 12 megapixel camera, when you start cropping that baby, then things go south very, very fast. It's like, well, I've got a really great telephoto lens. It's like, yeah, but you got it on a 12 megapixel Nikon D3. It's like, I thought you said the Nikon D3 and D700 are awesome. It's like, I did. I never said that they were ideal for, uh, uh, you know, long distance wildlife photography <laughs> or something that you're going to crop or, you know, nor are they ideal for landscape. Not that you can't do great landscape work with them or, uh, or, um, uh, Architectural work or you know wildlife architectural or landscape those are not ideal. Um, it depends on what you want to do. You need to know you have to have the brains to know what it is you need to have and the need to use or not use. So skills are obviously the whole point of this video is that you need to understand 
what gear it is that you actually do need. I mean, some people only give a damn about portraiture. You need to always keep developing your skills. You need to concentrate too more on lighting. And everybody keeps ignoring. I don't care if you ignore my videos on lighting, but God, don't ignore lighting. Lighting is everything. You can do a lot more with a good lighting than you can with a good lens. A lot more. A lot more. Everybody's talking about a great lens. And I talk about great lenses all the time. Um, like for sports and action. I mean, you might have the best sports action photographer in the world, but you give him an old camera with a shitty slow autofocus lens, he's not going to do very good. Kind of like the best race car driver is not going to do any good in an old beat-up pickup truck, right? Right? That's objectively valid and empirically undeniable. Am I wrong? I'm not wrong. Um, you know... Some of the bicyclists I rode with, I mean, they're riding on uh, bicycles that cost as much as a new BMW. I couldn't keep up with them. I mean, those guys, I mean, they watch everything they ate. I mean, I was really skinny at one point in time when I was riding a bike. And, man, I could sprint at 30 miles an hour and I had a nice carbon fiber bicycle that cost basically, oh, a lot of money, many thousands of dollars. But, you know, these guys had the skill and the stamina and they also had the you know, the special equipment that would give them that extra edge for the racing competitions that they did. I couldn't keep up with them most of the time. Um, so the gear is necessary. The skills are always necessary. But I keep hearing all this crap. And everybody goes, oh, it's all about skills. And I say, well, yeah, it's all about skills. But, you know, aren't you missing the damn point that, you know, you, you can't do wildlife photography, you know, with a telephoto lens and a 12 megapixel camera? You know, you can't, because when you crop it, the image is going to look like shit. You know, race car driver is no good with a beat-up pickup truck on the racetrack, is he? So don't tell me everything is... I keep hearing that all the time. But that is a good, uh, you know, come back to all the people that are... It's gear, 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 gear. And it's a breath of fresh air for someone to say, well, it's it's all about the skills. That's... Yeah, pretty much, but you, when it comes down to brass tacks... You know, skills are the best thing in the world, but you still have to have the gear to be able to do what the hell it is you have the skills for. Am I wrong? I'm not wrong. So just realize where the borderline is. Don't go over. You can never go over the borderline with too many. There's no such thing as too many skills. I mean, no one has ever reached the point where they have. It's like, I got too much skills in photography. No one's ever said that shit. Maybe some people have, but they said it uh, in hubris. Um but you can definitely have too much gear and, you know, concentrate. Just just keep an equal balance in the brain. And nobody talks about that. Why don't people talk about that? Because it's an invisible line. Nobody knows where the gear necessarily starts and the skills ne end. Well, the skills never end, but the gear definitely has to start somewhere. Because if you got plenty of skills, but you can't get the fucking job done, then it's quite possible your gear might be shitty, slow, or not the appropriate gear you need to get the job done. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> bye.